Hiya, my name's Lee. I thought I'd just pop on and do a really impromptu uh, review video for this new sewing machine I've just bought, the Britannia Instyle T65. I wasn't intending to buy this machine. I went into the store to buy something, you know, a regular brand name. And uh, the sales guy showed me this machine and I just can't believe what it can do. I'm not no way affiliated with this company. I bought this machine myself. It was about £469 with the discount. It came with the extension table, a walk-in foot. This bit comes off. You've got your accessories drawer that normally can't even get around there. That part there that clips on with all your bits in. Uh, the reason I bought this machine is because I sew bags and handbags and wallets. So lots of layers, lots of thick seams, and my machine was struggling. And I fancied a few decorative stitches and I fancied I needed to move the needle position, the stitch length, all the things the machine couldn't do before. So for the price, this is amazing. And it's got all bells and whistles on. So you've got your stop start button there that won't engage unless the presser foot's down, which is really good. So, you know, you don't get any dodgy stitches. You've got an auto threader mechanism there, which is really easy to use. Uh, back stitch, you've got a slow stitch. You've got this pad here, which is really handy. You've got a locking stitch, so you don't have to do loads of back stitching. It's automatically tension controlled, so you can change the tension if you need to, but you don't, I've not had to use any of those buttons. You've got your pattern that you select there, the length of the stitch, the width of the stitch, which shows you up there what, what those buttons will do in relation to how many times you press it. You've got, I think it's 65, yes, yeah, 65 stitches. That's why it's called T65. And um, I've been playing around with it and I've gone, these are the stitches, it comes out amazing. You've got, that's the front, obviously, but look how neat it is on the back. You've got no dodgy stitching. Where it cuts the thread, you've got, let me just, I'll put it in and show you. I've got the wrong foot on. Okay, blind timing foot on. Let me put the regular thread on. Doing this all one-handed. Um, this is so annoying. No. There you go. So look, I've not done anything to the thread. I've not pulled the thread through. I've not had to manually, when I would personally, pull that thread and put it through there, pull it to the back. So let's pick a stitch. These are your buttonhole stitches. So you need a buttonhole foot that comes with the machine. These are your utility stitches, zigzag stretch, um, straight stitching, needle to the left, needle to the right. I think that's a double stitch. That's really nice actually, that one. And then you've got all your fancy stitches. So if I pick 58, so I'm at zero, I'm, if I go backwards, it's quicker. And go for all the functions. So it automatically moves the needle over. When you bring the presser foot down, the green light comes on and you can do variation of the speed. So if I do it into the middle, press the button. You don't have to press the presser foot. Look, my feet aren't on the presser foot. My dodgy shoes and socks. <laughs> but you plug it in to my messy table. Ignore that. So right, I'm going to just start. And then you want it to stop. You can speed this up. Slow it right down while you're stitching, which is really handy. And you want to stop, press the start button again, and then you wouldn't backstitch on an embroidery stitch, but if you wanted to backstitch, you press that button there. This is the needle up, needle down position button, as well as slowing it down. So, clip your threads. You can't really see because it's grey. Let me turn it over. Look how neat that is. These are a few of the stitches I've done on vinyl because I like sewing with vinyl. If I couldn't with my other machine, it would stick to it. I mean, it wouldn't have been a bit bunchy there because I think this is really sticky vinyl. Anyone that's used vinyl will know what I mean. But look how neat and professional they look. And I've made, these are what I've made. Just to show I know kind of what I'm doing. I just did the simple embroidery stitch on the vinyl. You had no trouble sewing over the vinyl doing the top stitching. I mean, look how neat that top stitching is. There wasn't even a special needle in it. It was the needle that came with the machine. So I would, I would change that. Can't do this one handed. See, it works with waterproof canvas, thick vinyl. And also I quilted some vinyl. 
and I made that. So the first real proper handbag I've been able to make because I couldn't with my old machine, I'd have to use cotton or canvas and sort of cheat, cheat my way around. But it went through the strap. That's a four layer strap of vinyl. No special needle, anything. I probably would put a new special needle in, but it sewed through it perfectly. So um, yeah, for the price, I would say buy one. Thanks for watching.